Alrighty, this is your friend the Neighborhood Titan here, and I'm bringing to you Black Desert Online Beta Episode Number Eleven. Your castle is a total mess. Sorry, I couldn't warn you, Captain. Your men were slaughtered too quickly. These are hard times, I understand. Tell me, is training harpies your new hobby? No, but I have much more powerful allies. <clears throat> you are one of these foul fiends. The dark force I felt was you all along. Oh, Captain, such excellent insight. In truth, these fiends swore sole allegiance to me, and as King of the Shadow Army, I hereby declare war upon the Great Republic of Calpheon. The Harpy attacks are just the beginning of my revenge. My next move will be to destroy every single fortress in this document one by one. Pull yourself together, Jordian. How long do you think they'll actually remain loyal to you? That is none of your concern, Captain Brego. There will be nothing left but ashes and dust. <laughs> Halfion shall never be defeated in war. Did you say you're after Lord Jor Jardian? You're the second person to say that today. So where we left off last time was I was going to go talk to the captain. That's the captain right there. After you speak with him, he gives you um, a mission to do something, some type of kill mission, something uh, not too terribly important. You go and do it, you return, and that video starts. See, that's all you missed out on. It wasn't nothing big. You basically, boop boop, you finish his little kill quest or whatever it may be. You hop back to him, and the most important part was the actual story, which is where we started out. So after that, you go up to this mountain here. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> what you see are only parts. He's basically saying that he'll be on the move when the treatment is done. Oh, that's you. You. You seem familiar. Ah, I saw you in Glish. Well, you're no coward to have made it this far. Sid, I have no energy to look up at you. The one who rose from the Watchtower's coffin. His name is Belmore. Some call him the Monarch of Darkness. His ritual was incomplete, so he hasn't attained his true form. But his power will continue to grow. And his dream of bathing the entire world in darkness will soon be accomplished. Uh, oh. to protect this place. Have you heard of the group protecting dangerous secrets from the world? The secret guards? Well, that's us. It's like Yaz says. Now you know exactly who we are. The power dwelling within you is a darkness no different from the evil of Belmont. Oh, well, let's take to that alone. That's the thing. It must be saying something. But you still have a chance to rectify this crisis and cleanse your own soul for good. But Belmorn, Belmorn is clearly after you. The power you two have, they are the same and meant to collide. 
There's a huge farm to the west. All when has gone there. Belmorn is a fierce villain. You should go help her out straight away. Alrighty, now that you've gotten that done, you don't want that to happen. The circumstances you go through ought to be controlled by strong will. Probably wonder why I was here unconscious. Why I was unconscious here? I was pursuing Jardian. And then he passed out. Fortunately, as got to him his time, and is healing him. Secret God's oath is of unchangeable will and promise. That gummit. So you go up here, you check that little harpy thing. You're gonna get pummeled if you attack now. You need to grow stronger, trust me on this. Time to go back and report to Brago. Brago? Basically the Delphine captain. Even though it says defeat a group of harpies. <laughs> Never forget, you like for some reason enemies pick on your horse specifically. <laughs> Forgot at that point I had uh, removed my staff for a minute. So after you kill, you know, so many of these annoying flying birds, they'll just call up your dark spirit again, your black spirit, take it from there. Like I said before, you know, fireball explosion and um, residual lightning are more than enough to take care of most problems that you deal with. Also, uh, Healing Lighthouse and Healing Aspect are both very useful because it allows you to regain your ma magic and heal yourself, so it's a win-win. These kill quests are always going to be grindy, so it's just something you're going to have to buckle in and acknowledge about the game. I was actually watching this, interestingly enough, on uh, computer, and <laughs> needless to say, the computer version of this is crazy good looking.
the spells look a little bit more nuts and um, I saw the awakening part and I think that's right where I was <laughs> before the uh, beta ended All right, I think I was six levels away from that and really looking forward to it that you know beta ended so some of your darkness he he I think those ah damn it alright he he I think those harpies actually thought they stood a chance so here he is patting you on the back yet again Oh hey, there's a chance that Jardian went this way. Oh, he, there's a chance Jardian did something that's causing the harpies to go nuts. Your dark spirit senses something, so after I've cleared the area, I'm keeping myself from getting hit. Uh, always be sure to check that reward tab. Never want to miss out on that. Never forget, like, if you can't get to your horse, don't fight with it. Just back up and call it again. Alright, right here's the black rock. Or a black stone. You look at it, <laughs> your black spirit breaks it in half. Or you do. You gross. So basically he's just saying that black boulder was the cause for the harpies going crazy. We gotta talk to Brigo Willer, which is the captain, about what we did. He's going to jump for joy that, you know, the harpies are going to back down. Because now they don't have a rock driving them nuts. Run, 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 run. We're officially requesting assistance from Venturers and Calpheon. When the time comes, I hope you will join us in the fight. The experience grins with satisfaction as it looks at the harpies you defeated. The Black Spirit tells you to go talk to Brigo Walker. Submit a temporary pass to Grand Hill. May Elion watch over you. Basically, you've earned entry over into Calpheon. I 
use, most people have a real hard time entering Calpheon, so he's gonna spawn through your way in. It's nothing too, like, I mean, it's kind of vital, but it's not. Like, he's just saying, I'm gonna vouch for you, and you're gonna be like, alright. <laughs> Those crystals right there that you see me looking at, they're used for, I think it's enhancement, and you can see what they do, the uh, item effect all AP plus one, so damage against everything is added plus one. After you get all that done, you're just heading back down the hill, or castle, or whatever you'd call this thing. Defensive ball work. Dipsy Lee Looney going through all of this multiple times. Never hurts to check in and see if you got anything to sell. There's lots of uh, really complex things with node management in this game, so never forget that sometimes you might not be able to sell something to somebody because, you know, it could be the node management. Your nodes are not connected up perfectly, so. Alright, now that I've ran all the way down here, I've come back to the gatekeeper, basically. Entry permit. In times of crisis, and the captain is your... Ranter? He's laughing. He... So this guy's blocking him. Did the tiny ground out or head to time? I heard a soldier say the owner is like Ilion in human form. I think I know where he is. He he, just follow me and don't worry about a thing. As you can see, there are quite a few spells in this game. Especially considering, like, you don't have the same layouts as you would on computer. At level 35 you get access to the Black Spirit's Fury. Which does raise a bit of question. Uh, from what I could tell whenever I used uh, lightning it would let down a freaking thunderstorm and ruin anything that got in my way, so it was pretty useful. can't stress enough how many carrots you're going to need in this game, man. Right here, you're going to see a jump because this is me trying out PvP against a, uh, a GM, a game manager, and they ruined me. I don't know what they had set up, but they beat me to the ground multiple times over. I know it's a level 55 
thing and everything, but they had their healing set up and perfect. It was, I was, no way of beating them. So, that was just my black spirit telling me that here's an award. I took it. Yet again, that's more of a... Well, actually, I agreed to take an award from him later on. Which all I have to do is pop that up and he'll give it to me because I'm the level required to do so. So now uh, that I got out of PvP, it just kind of dropped me out here in the middle of nowhere to the northern wheat plantation out here. I figured out those shabby uh, pickaxes were nothing like the actual pickaxes, so you can't use them to get ore. It was really annoying. <laughs> it's rough when you're brand new and you're like, why isn't this pickaxe working? Why can't I equip it? It's because it's a, a monster drop and held onto a whole nother thing of the game. It doesn't realize it's a pickaxe. To it, it's a monster drop. So basically, you see right here is a leather repairing kit. It allows you to upgrade a certain piece of your armor because it's a quest item. It took a bit to read that. Basically, you go into processing, which you should see me do soon. There we are. Yep, there's processing. And then you go into heating. And I thought it was somewhere down at the bottom. It's actually at the very top. I took that off just because, you know, play it safe. So I went to the bottom, and hopefully I'll make it back to the top here. Yep. Veterinarian, veteran adventurer shoes so basically it's the shoes I have equipped currently get turned into blue shoes and they're actually better than any shoes you can get so at least from the market so far when I finally start picking the pieces and upgrading them because those are quest shoes, and that's a quest item to upgrade it. They, uh, all those items, they just tend to be way better. So I got this red seal for fighting that guy. And we killed him once, but he just, oh, Me and our archer went in on him, and he just would not die. <laughs> I don't know if his name was Demora or Demigra, but he was just... He's near impossible to kill. And I'm pretty confident it was a gem. So there's the battlefield potion from PvP. You can only use it in PvP. And that guy was down on him. I don't care what anybody says. That guy had on a hot key and he just ping, and he could heal the very instant he got hit. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe in the links below. Bye.